and welcome back to the Temple of the Nameless God here in the realms of Arcania. As you might remember, we left off after we found a way downstairs and we immediately had to deal with a couple of cultists. A ladder No, we're not going to take that ladder. So that was the ladder we took before and now we went through this door and I think we have to go watch out on. cries suddenly saving the rest from walking right into the trigger of the trap in front of you oh you have claustrophobic okay so Arbush warned us of a trap oh oh <laughs> that escalated quickly uh, a battle so what do we have here that's two cultists that should not be too much of a problem Arik, you will go here and stay there. Just don't do anything and look good. Oh, right, left click. <laughs> and uh, Vindariel, you go just two steps and fire at this guy. Oh, you missed. Not very good. Torfin did not hit. So Arbush can take two steps and attack. So that's what we're going to do. And Shireen, yeah, she is not able to attack this round. But since these guys are not dangerous to us, I will save the arrows since there are really only two of them. And they are not a threat, so to speak. <coughs> so I will, I will save the arrows for the final battle that is going to take place very very soon no Arbush oh come on guys you will hit something the cultist broke his weapon I hope the game remembers that and Chirin just causes him his parry action so Torfin did a good hit and Arbush failed so that's how you waste a move. You don't do anything. Just stay where you are and keep quiet. No mumbling magic formulas. <coughs> okay. Ah. This should be an easy easy thing to do. Here we go. 8 points of damage. But Shireen failed this time. But however, both cultists took a bit of damage already. Now it's Shireen's turn. She again consumes his parry action. And if Arbash hits now, that's five points of damage. That's how it works. And these guys seem to be as blind as our own people. Not hitting anything. Orphan, you hit him. Nine points of damage. Good work. Arbash broke his weapon. That is not a good thing. I really cannot afford a broken weapon right now. <sighs> I just hope I have a spare weapon for him. Let's take a look. Yeah, I do. Um, will I repair this one? Apparently I will. So let's uh, just keep it. Oh, seven points with a new axe causes him to run away that's good take two steps here and attack him oh that's the wrong guy no that was my bad these <coughs> people look very much alike <laughs> now <coughs> who wants to get some here we go Torfin no that was Chirin that is Torfin. But neither of them hit, so Arbush gets the kill. 14 points of damage must have been a crit. Very nice. So we are victorious. And there's another statue of the Nameless God. So it seems. You and face a statue, we're going you destroy to smash it. the. Okay, now. Um. Yeah, I know that you are uncomfortable. 
Um, is that another way? Oh yeah. Ignifaxus. Oh. <gasps> Holy, what was that? This guy immediately started shooting. Okay, we have to to think of uh, to think of something here. Um, who? What can we do? I could potentially try to um. Shall we try to kill him? Let's do this. Ignifaxus. <laughs> And you fail. That costs, costs a lot of energy. Not, not a good thing. So, Vindariel, you take two steps and two more steps to get out of harm's way. Shoot at this guy and you miss. That's not good. Chirin, you will charge and see what you can do. Kaya, you will also try to blind this lightning guy. find you and you fail since he will probably have a pretty high magic resistance now torfin um you are able to do lots of damage so let's go and arbus is also now in the way so somni gravis <sighs> these guys have some interesting spells at hand uh, no not this guy so let's go here and see if that works. Ow! Yeah, that's okay. Shoot at Torfin. Not a big deal. Normally I should try to bring down the other dude here, but um, there's not very much I can do about it. I could, however, try to get close here. But is that a good idea? No, it is not. Um, it's not a good idea to be too... Yeah, that was a mistake. He will now probably move. <coughs> but that was a good hit. <coughs> and Shireen also hit the priest. That's good. Lightning find you. And he actually succeeds with his lightning. That is not good for us. On the other hand, if he keeps focusing on Shireen... We should be good. Now, Ari, can you pull a full minictus? You can, which is another seven damage. And um, the thing is, there is no, no, yeah, no cure for lightning. That's a combat spell. It's not a domination spell. So the only way against this would have been a guardianum. And I did not do that. That was stupid. Well, what, however, I could potentially... Um, no, I cannot. It's, he's too far away. So let's get Kaya out. She cannot do anything here now. Have a look at Shireen's combat skills here. The attack skill with the two-handed sword is six now. And he's sh she's nearly unable to parry anything. So now parrying against this guy is not really necessary. As long as we are able to hit him, we're good. And that's what I'm going to do. I want to kill this guy as soon as possible. Arbosh failed. He will... What's that? Oh, he fled? Okay. Well, that was unexpected. However, I won't complain. Vindariel, you don't... No, that's Arik, you won't do anything. Vindariel is shooting. Four points of damage here. Torfin, take a step. Attack this guy. Don't hit him. Arbush, can you kill him? No, but six more damage. And here we go with Shireen. Another point for eight damage. He hit Kaya, that was not good. So I have to waste some more energy to save her. Why is she shooting at her? Could also shoot at her. I don't like that. So I will now... Arik is at zero energy and that is really not good. So I will Balm of heal healing. myself with Kaya. That's good. I need some more energy. 
on Arik, but I don't know how to do this. I don't have a yeah, I don't have a magical potion available for that. So that's not good. I could try meditation. <coughs> that could work. So meditation is a way where you can um, substitute life energy for astral energy. You take the damage basically and get some points here. Um, yeah, that's nothing of interest for us right now. How about money? Now, this is not good. Uh, I could, I could give him eternal and rest in the dungeon. I could camp in the dungeon, meditate, give him eternal, and then rest in the dungeon. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I am risking an ambush uh, while resting, but I think it's actually worth it. Can I do it? Um, that's the more interesting question. That's my quest book. Split the group. I don't want to split the group. I want to rest. Why can I not rest here? How are you supposed to rest in a dungeon? No, that's not it. You cannot do it from here. I would have expected that I could do it from here. But that's only for opening doors. Here. That's a camp. Okay, I was too close to the doors. I think that was the issue. Now, uh, I'm... I will try to meditate with Arik that um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I think 15 is okay. How much does he have? Maybe we should find that out first. He does have 24 points life energy. I can give him a healing potion if everything fails. He is not able to eat a whirlweed, which I find disturbing, but mm, be it as it may, um, that's the only thing. I, I got the tunnel, I will give it to him. Now, let's see if he can meditate. This is not an order success, so there is a, a skill check in the background. I will go for 15 points, try to do that. If that succeeds, I get 15 points of astral energy, and then I can rest. I do not get 15 points. Yeah, I got 15 points. Okay, that's good. Now, um, he is down on, on life energy. I will now give him the tunnel and he will fall asleep immediately. See? And then we are going to assign the watches. That's good. I will, we will keep that. And then sleep. So probably Alric will not wake up in case there will be a battle. And I'm pretty sure there will be. No! There wasn't? No battle. And we got some energy back. That is good. So we are at 25. That is at least one Ignifaxius. And probably a Fulminictus as well. Now, um, we smashed this. There are two more doors to explore here. Um, there's another statue. I will save the game, not because I fear a battle inside, but I only have one lockpick left. Okay, I was able to open the door. Suddenly discovers a secret door in the wall. After a short while, even succeeds in opening it. Sweet! I did not know that. You face a statue, you destroy... Oh. We smash it. Now what's in here, I wonder? Let's, let's go and check it out. You hear someone desperately calling for help in the distance. Okay. You see a dark pit trap in front of you. You hear a low moan. 
Do you want to try to save them? Hmm. You yes. let the rope down into the pit until you feel it being yanked. Your companion slowly climbs up the rope and out of the pit. Did we get... Do, did we just get a mercenary for us, for our group? What? That's it? A golden ring? Really? You face oh. a statue, you destroy... Let's just destroy the statue. I'm not sure how many of those there are, but... Um... Okay, apparently... Suddenly, dozens of... Dozens of querels? Did, did anyone get hit? These two are pretty bad, but uh, I think that was as it was before, right? So here's another door. And again, I only have one lockpick left. Arbush, do your job. I am not sure that I'm going to the right direction, to be quite honest. No, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh, there's a treasure chest. Um, so I was going in through the right direction. Inside the chest, chest, bedded on black velvet, is a large black crystal. You can feel the evil emanating from it. Do you want to shatter the crystal? How yes. should you destroy the crystal? Let's try to smash it. The crystal it. survives the blow without a scratch. Regrettably, it also releases energy, injuring... Really? And we got... Oh, what the... Okay. Apparently we just woke up a demon. Um, yeah, that can happen sometimes. Um, I will, however, not attack with uh, magic. I got um, two magic weapons on Torfin and also on Cherin, I think. Uh, Albers, you don't have a magic weapon, right? No, you don't. You do not. Uh, maybe this is a magical item. Uh, I cannot switch it uh, <coughs> during the battle. What? What? 12 damage? Holy crap. Um, okay, we have to attack here. <coughs> See, she dealt some damage. Shireen has a magic sword. What? You have a magic sword. That's the orc nose, that's also magical. Or is it just... She has a normal sword there. So we have to switch this sh the sword when she... <coughs> yeah, see, 15 damage. That's what I'm <coughs> talking about. We not do anything here. And Dariel does not do anything. Now let's equip the magic sword. And attack the demon and again with uh! Torfin he actually killed it that's good so I'm relieved <laughs> uh, I'm relieved now uh, let's see inside the chest bed uh, what can we do about that Alric could do the Ignifaxius to actually shatter this crystal but then he's again out of energy to do anything else in the next battle I'm not sure if she is able to cast the Ignifaxis at all. It's on minus one. I could, however, try that since Kaya is not so low on energy and also is not needing so much energy for her spells. So I think that's what I'm going to try first. Inside the ch how should you destroy? Um, Unfortunately, Kaya. the spell fails with no effect, except that the crystal defends itself, injuring. Really? And another battle? Oh, come on. Another demon? I don't like that. Now, Shireen, go here and please attack the demon. Ah! Why did you do that? I misclicked, apparently. Okay. Torfin did not take any damage. That is good. 
Chirin is not able to do anything. Torfin, <coughs> however, can again deal 12 damage <coughs> with his magical ordinals against this guy. I like Torfin a lot. <laughs> okay, now Chirin, can you hit him? <coughs> you can kill him. That was good, 10 damage. Kaya's hurt. Ah, what can I do? What can I do? Inside the chest, bedded on black velvet, is a large... How should you... I know, I know. Hairline cracks gradually appear in the crystal, and then it shatters into a thousand pieces. The crystal's evil aura dissipates, leaving naught but a pile of shards in an old shabby chest. No, that was not it. Problem... I only have 16 energy left, so that's one Ignifaxius I can cast, and then I am done with our rig. Now, on the other hand, the advantage of what was going on here is that I now have an idea, at least, where I am at. So, let's go here, let's see. Um, there's the chest. I have to go kind of this way. I think it's this way. But there's nothing here. Let's go this way and see if something's over here. But apparently there's not. A ladder lead No, I don't want to go upstairs. No. Yeah. Whom do I leave behind? I think I will leave behind Kaya. You remember this lever? Um, and I think I a need lever to do protrudes this. from the wall here. But Could however, to? I'm not going to do this in this episode. I'm going to do it in the next one. So if you like this little decision uh, problems I had here and like those battles, hit the like button. And I hope I see you for the next episode here on Stardew Gaming. Until then.